Today, I'm thrilled to share an incredible book that recently hit the shelves, Reversal of Frustration and Victory. Interestingly, this masterpiece originally debuted a decade ago under, The Obstacle is the Way. The initial translation mirrored the title verbatim, though I believe. A more fitting interpretation might be, Adversity, the only path to success. This is Ryan Holiday's third venture marketing savant whose name resonates far and wide, not just for his ingenuity, but also for this, his most acclaimed work. Far from your average motivational read, it delves deep into ancient wisdom, teaching us to morph challenges into stepping stones and transform societal hindrances into battle strategies for progress. In this session, I aim to dissect the book's contents, hoping to arm you with the courage to face life's inevitable setbacks. Welcome back to the channel. Before we dive into the book, let's spotlight Ryan Holiday. His journey is fascinating, dropping out at 19 to apprentice under the esteemed Robert Greene, later founding his own media firm and spearheading marketing at American Apparel. Truly marketing wonderkind. Remarkably, its influence seeped into professional sports, politics, even the military. Peaking on the Wall Street Journal bestseller list half a decade post-publication. Why the delayed recognition? Holiday himself was taken aback, crediting Stoisma philosophy incredibly apt. For our fast-paced, complex modern nitty-nibbling clarity and decisiveness. Unlike the stereotypical philosopher lost in thought, Stoicism is action-centric. The book's title, borrowed from Marcus Aurelius' Meditations, emphasizes facing obstacles as opportunities for growth. I've embraced these challenges, like game level sensing in equipment or skills, as needed cautiously, to match my level in reaping experience points along the way. In tackling life's hurdles, I align with the book's cognitive practice definition. Our understanding and interpretation of surrounding events are potent, yet can be our Achilles heel. Our mindset, akin to a command ship, dictates our capacity. The book references mindset shifts that significantly impact our physiological reactions, illustrating the mind's influence over the body. The narratives of Rockefeller, during financial turmoil, and Rubin, Hurricane Carter, wrongly convicted, exemplify unparalleled resilience and perception of adversity as trials to overcome rather than succumb to. Their stories, like others in the book, are cinematic yet profoundly instructional, underscoring the essence of stoic persistence. As we venture into action practices outlined in the book, it reminds us not all actions bear. Fruit planned, stepwise actions pave the way through obstacles. My personal odyssey, circumnavigating the globe by bike, epitomizes the essence of concentrating on the immediate step, rather than the daunting entirety. Lastly, the training of will segment uncovers the necessity of concession and flexibility over rigid determination. Adapting to life's curves, like reevaluating career paths post-pandemic or reshaping personal endeavors, showcases true willpower. Embracing Emir Fati, loving our fate and every unfolding event as predestined, has been a transformative outlook, especially amidst adversities. Reversal of Frustration and Victory isn't just a book. It's a guidepost for life's tumultuous journey parting the stoic wisdom. That trials aren't merely to be endured, but to be leveraged for growth. Reflecting on these teachings, especially with recent personal experiences, I found an enriched understanding and appreciation. While we may not all achieve legendary feats, adopting a stoic approach to life's trials is universally accessible and rewarding. In closing, remember to be kind to yourself. When faced with setbacks, it's okay to pause, breathe, and perhaps find a new direction with even more beautiful vistas ahead. See you in the next episode. Farewell.